Right, how are we doing? Okay. Some of our little spider plants are completely pot bound. See the roots? This is quite a nice looking thing. This is the, this hangs in a hanging basket um, in my kitchen. There's no heating in the kitchen, doesn't really need it. I mean, roll in there to cook and uh, look after a wee doggy now and again so we put the heater on if it's here. And it's quite a cold thing, although it has a new um, little bed. And I'm just getting all the dead bits off to begin with. But sometimes it's easier if you take it, you take the plant out of the pot to get these off. But I'll just get the ones that are obvious. Just pick these out. It's quite a relaxing thing to do this. I wonder if I've got the big light on, but it doesn't feel like I've got much light on in here. I think I need another light on. I just wonder if that's enough light. Oh, I'll put that light on over there. And get to it. I don't know if that's made any difference. Let me see. I've got, probably got compost lying about, but I went and got some new stuff to do. Nice fresh new stuff. When you're working with the with indoor plants, you're better to do that because you get a lot of uh, bugs and viruses from outside. And you better just to get a new bag of compost and just leave it in the house somewhere in the corner. So there's no kind of risk of infecting all your house plants. And then you have to go and buy some more, it's a bit of a pain. Mm. Saves you a little bit of money in the, in the long run just to go out and buy a bag of compost. I mean, that bag of compost was pound fifty for how many liters is it? Twenty liters of compost, multi-purpose compost for a pound fifty. That's just mental. It's worth doing it. So, what you can see, I'm doing there is I'm just grabbing that. You can sometimes just squash the pot and it loosens it all up. This is very pot bound, this spider plant. It obviously likes it in the window. Grab the, the base of the plant. It's not wanting to come out at all. I think because it's kind of all these roots here, you can see those roots just kind of prise them apart. And you might have to be brutal and, and snap them, you know, there's nothing else you can do. If you kind of just loosen them all off so they'll come through the holes. Um, it's fairly strong, so even if you did snap these off, I don't think it'd mind too much. It would recover pretty quickly. These things are almost impossible to kill. If it doesn't want to come, don't force it though. Just keep squashing the pot in. Try not to force it though. Because you, what you'll do is you'll tear it at the actual base. So keep trying. If it doesn't want to come. You can see, don't force it. It's not really wanting to come, so I'll squeeze it at the bottom a little bit. There we go, it's coming now. I squeeze the pot at the bottom, so it's like that. And I'm going to put it in a bigger pot. One of these pots. Well, how big are these? I think these are. The labels just there. I'll just get the label just to see how big these are. Let me do that. They're a five inch pot, 12.5 centimeters. Yeah, 12.7 centimeters, so it's a five inch pot. Now I've got a little bit of soil. Kind of eyeball the depth of it. So if I pop that in, that's gonna go in too far. I want it up a good bit. So I reckon I need it up. So I'll put two or three centimeters worth in the bottom. Try that. And what I usually do is just squash it down a little bit with the, the old pot, just to give myself a center. I can I can center it quite well. And, uh, put that in and see what kind of level I'm at. Yeah, that's about spot on. You want it just below the top of the surface of the pot, just just a wee bit below, about a centimeter below. Um, and then just start filling it up. You can either get some of the new compost in a pot and just pour it in and then firm it in the gap, spin it round. They're pretty robust to spider plant. I would love to be able to learn how to 
um, grow orchids. But, uh, I think they're beyond my skill level at the moment. The two orchids I've had, I've not had any success with them. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I did move. I did have one that, that wasn't doing well, and I moved it to the morning sun, which is this window here. This is my office window, and it gets the morning sun, and it did. It flowered immediately, but after that, it didn't flower at all. So I don't know what I've done. I have no idea. I think I overwatered it. I think I overloved it. I don't know. I don't know. I think I was just getting so paranoid and desperately wanted it to grow. So as you see, I just went all the way around. And I get the soil in there, firm it down. It feels like it needs a bit more because it's kind of going into the cavity on the side of the pot as I'm firming it in. It should be okay. Is there any left in there? This bit needs to be a wee bit low. You can also kind of straighten the plant up just by squashing it down, getting it straight, making it look nice. And I'll put this back in the hanging basket. It will find its own level anyway, but it's it's good to help it out, you know. Help it get straight, because it will search for the light and go towards it. Mm -hmm. Get the bash, there we go. Now I don't like these bent leaves because it's trying to straighten, this plant is trying to straighten itself. So I always cut the bent leaves off. What I mean by a bent leaf. It doesn't matter, it'll grow back, no problem. If you can see, where are we? See how they've got a bent leaf there? And we've got a bent leaf there. Yeah, I don't like them. I think the plant is trying to struggle to straighten these, and it just takes away energy from the growing process. So I always cut the bent leaves off. Yeah, that's a bit, I don't think that'll, it won't try and straighten that thing, but I'll cut it off anyway. Yeah. And any light that I cut off, there's one there. I cut it off anymore. And I think it does, they do kind of flourish if you do that. Just the bent ones though, don't go too crazy and cut off all the good ones. Just the ones that are bent. And that one's not, in, it, it technically keeps speaking bent, but it is very long. So it, it's struggling, it's using energy to try and pick that up. There's another one. And that stops it growing. There's another one there. I always do this with bent leaves. And it seems to work with these uh, Corophytum, which is the Latin. And we've got a wee one there that's kind of got a bit of disease on it. We'll get that out. It's a bit brown, that one. I'll just slip a bit off that. And of course, it's important to water it with new soil because the new compost, because it'll be completely dry. And these have got nutrients to last it as a bent leaf. They last it for six months already in the soil, so you won't need to feed it. There's also a bad bit there, a couple of bad bits out, just to give it a chance, you know. There's another new bad bit there. Let's get that off. Those are usually down to lack of nutrients when it goes brown at the end. So it hasn't been fed very well. I haven't given them much attention really over the winter. So there's a wee brown bit in there, a wee dead leaf, or throng, whatever they call these things. It's not wanting to come up, sorry, not a shot. I'm just doing this on the webcam. Because it's just so much hassle to set up the DSLR. Are any more bent leaves? Hopefully I'll get some little babies off this, which will give me new plants. There's a bent leaf. Right, here we go. Bent leaf. There's a kind of big bent leaf there. It might seem a bit brutal, but don't worry, just go for it. Another one, I've seen them now, I've seen them. What is that? That kind of a baby. No, just bent leaf. So look at it. So you start to see things. The more you look at it. Right, that's that one done. Ah, that over there. And this one to do also. This one's a bit of a mess. 
take all the dead leaves out of it, the dead bits and pieces. Okay. It's kind of leaning over. See how it's leaning over like a waterfall that way. You've got a bent leaf there. And it's a bit of a disaster this thing. Let's get the bent leaves off. So, trust me, it'll feel better doing this. You can even chop them right back. These things, I've done it before, give them a really big head, but all the long ones are just chopped into a kind of nice shape and then it, 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 they grow. They're very virile, these things. So, they just grow. The only thing they don't like is you're cutting the roots to bits. There's another one. I've done that before, it's when I first started the plants many years ago, the year 1999. I cut all the roots off, all those white things that I showed you before. I thought, oh, where are all these things? Of course, then it wasn't happy. So that's never going to recover because that's too big. So take that off. Right. Okay, let's get a pot put here. And of course, this has got less soil, so I reckon all the soil is going to fall out here. So I'm just going to put a pot. It saved me tidying it all up. Just squash the compost. And there's a wee bit of roots at the bottom, but not much. Let's see if it pulls out okay. Yeah, there we go. It pulls out okay. But it was, it's kind of crumbling all over the place. So I might just, I might be tempted just to take away what's there a little bit and just give it new. Oh, it's all kind of falling apart. Okay. Yeah, I'll get some soil out of the bag. Just put the pot in. Fill it up about a quarter of the way to begin with, just to see how we are. See where the actual where it wants to sit. It's a bit low, so I'll put a bit more in. So we're at about probably just under halfway. And if I can give you one piece of advice with compost, get the best you can afford. Um, I think this was just on offer. That's perfect. It's just about a centimetre below the, the top, although this is kind of wanting to droop. So I'm tempted just to get it a bit lower and bring it up to that kind of see just about there, just so that it'll, it'll sit like that. Even if I am covering up a bit, it doesn't matter. To empty some of that into that pot. See how low I can get it. I want it a wee bit lower, so that's not low enough yet. Well, all that soil's come, all that old soil's come up. Let's have a look now. So I'm just left with basically roots. I want it a bit lower still. So, no, I want it a bit lower still. Where are we? Yeah, I reckon that'll do. I reckon that'll be great. So I'm right, really quite low because I wanted it to sit in the middle and sit straight. So I'll throw that in. Because as you can see, it was all like a waterfall before. It was kind of um, what do they call that? Uh, trailing. It was trailing, is what it was. And I don't want this spider plant to trail. Get some more soil. I'm not quite sure where this one's going to live. There is a wee spot in the hole that it could live. It didn't like it there before, but it might like it better now that it's got new soil and it's been loved a little bit. I'll pour some of that in. Just squash it down a little bit just to firm it up and keep it central. I've got quite a lot of seeds. I've went out and bought quite a lot of seeds today for flowers. I think I'm only going to do one or two tomato plants this year because we didn't have a summer last year. And you're investing quite a lot of time and money, you know, in in risk in a kind of gamble with the weather. So if I'm just going to grow little flowers. I'm going to plant all my seeds and 
I've got quite a nice um, compost mix that I make up, which seems to work every year for seeds. Uh, good drainage and good uh, good um, feed to begin with, and, and the seeds just seem to come through really, really well. So that's it kind of centered and looking more like a spider plant rather than trailing lobelia, you know. So that's it there. And that went in that pot. What's that pot like? That looks okay. There's a wee bit of old soil in there, but that'll be fine. So that sits in there, and I'll give it a bit of water. Oh. And I'll put this powder place in the hole. Let's have a quick look at it. Does that look alright? Yeah. See it properly. Doesn't that look a lot better than when it uh, first uh, came to me? Yeah. A bit of water, I'll be dry as a bone. The spider plants need quite a lot of water. Uh, they'll, they'll take quite a bit of abuse, the spider plant. The only thing it doesn't like is its roots getting cut off. It does not like that at all. Um, right, there we go. That's how you repot spider plants. So this one needs a bit of water. And I hope that's been useful. You kind of a bit of care for them, don't be frightened to cut all the bent leaves off because it does help them. It's trying its hardest to straighten that leaf and it's taking a lot of energy away from its growing process and it just it won't do well unless you actually deal with them. Get all the brown bits off and give it some new soil. There's another bent leaf there. You start to see them. No, is that one actually bent? Yeah, it is bent. I want to take it off. You might think it's brutal, but they do, they just grow. That's what they do. So uh, it will just fill out in time, you know, just go back to its glory. So I think they look better for my little bit of effort there. Thank you for watching. There's a uh, plant that I repotted, but it doesn't get enough light. A variegated plant needs a lot of light. And there's its source of light, that little window. So I had it there, but I reckon I'm going to move it. Let's just move it. I'm going to put it in that window so I've made a little space for it. Maybe a two-handed job. Oh, there we go. And I put a little label in it. It's telling, telling myself when I reported it. Oh. Hopefully we'll get a better show of this thing. Have a look how it looks. Oh, yeah. um, I'm hoping it won't be too cold. That big leaf there is kind of too big. Um, I think that would be happy there, I think. Maybe if it was, well, we never opened this window anywhere. So let's see if I can. Better. I don't want it to overhang too much because it will just get damaged. Let's have a look. Hard to see it really. A bit over there a bit. Just sit there. Right. It'll be happy there because they do like a lot of light. Um, so we can't.